record it, Dara. You want to intro? Yeah, it's rolling. Okay. Oh, it's recording? Hi, people. Good morning. Wait, no, we can't intro like that. Oh, That's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Guten Morgen from Nuremberg, Germany. We are back in the car. Jordan's caffeinated. That's a good thing. I've got a little treat. And we're ready to hit the road for our first real part of the road trip, I feel like, you know? Like we're going yeah. via vehicle, via vehicle. We're going by car to a new <laughs> destination. Today's destination is the city of Rothenburg, Ob de Tauber. I think that's mm. correct. We've learned that our German pronunciation is very, very bad, but it's Rothenburg. It's the one that you see all over Instagram when you look up like German fairy tale cities, German Christmas, whatever. It's adorable. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, there's like one scene of a half timber building, mm -hmm. split road. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're gonna go see that, so you'll know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm excited to stay in a different city. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about it, so let's hit the road. We've got an hour on yep, the road. About an hour. Great. All right, we'll see y'all there. tricky getting into Old Town with a car. I'm honestly surprised they let you drive in, but that doesn't matter. We are here, we've checked into Airbnb, and we don't always show you where we're staying, but this one, we just had to. Like I mentioned before, Rothenburg is like known to be the fairy tale town of Germany. There's half timber houses everywhere and charm galore, including where we're staying. Obviously we'll link below, don't even worry, but look at this adorable place right in the heart of Old Town and it has a Christmas tree. I love it so much. So we just wanted to show you around real quick. It's kind of just one big open room. So come along. So I'm standing in the living area. Like I said, we have a lovely Christmas tree. We have views out almost every side of Old Town all around us. So gorgeous, so cozy. Several sofas, which is hard to come by in Airbnbs some chairs, some reading materials. We even have a little fireplace. It's giving off like a ton of awesome heat right now because it is a dreary day outside. Come along. My favorite part of the whole place are these beams everywhere. The beams run through the entire place, into the bathroom, into the shower. It kind of, you know, marks off the different areas of the kitchen and stuff and they are just gorgeous and delicious. You know what I mean? Architecturally delicious. So they are. Lest we forget, we are still in an Airbnb, so the kitchen is of course a little minimal, but that's alright. It's got a stovetop, toaster, microwave, 
and most importantly a coffee maker because y'all I got to find out what it was like when Jordan didn't have his coffee recently our last place didn't have a coffee maker it was a problem but we're all good here coffee makers in hand so anyway that's kind of the whole place it's adorable we just wanted to show you we are now gonna run out and get some lunch before we hit the town for the day so let's do that I'm hungry Okay, so our first stop walking around town is this house behind me, which if you are on Instagram and you follow any kind of travel account, you have seen this house. But I bet you you saw it with a lot less people. The house I believe is called Plonline, and it's a beautiful half timber yellow house, kind of a mustardy color that goes right along where the road split, so it's just a perfect place to take a picture. But in the middle of the day, it is crazy busy. We kind of wanted to come down here and scope it out and honestly it's way busier than I even thought. So hopefully we can get ourselves out of bed early enough to come see it so it's significantly less humans. <laughs> Another town, another Christmas market. We're gonna head there now and see what this one is like. I have an idea that it's gonna be super charming. It looks like it's gonna be very busy, but we're gonna go enjoy it. Let's go. with fewer crowds, we'll see. This place is a little bit chaotic, I'm taking a break. So the market's deceptively large. It goes over several, like, not blocks, but several squares. You just kind of keep following it, and it's quite large, but quite busy. I'd, I'd be really interested to see what it's like either early in the day or at night. I think, or I've heard, that a lot of the people that are around are day trippers or big group tours. If they clear out, like I've heard, it would be probably a whole different world. But honestly, with this many people, I hate to complain, but I don't enjoy it. I'm just like shuffling between, and that's not what we're here for, so. I think I've seen it, got a good feel. Might come back later in the day or tomorrow. And for now, I think we might go get some groceries. Rothenburg. 
The house behind me is the one we were at yesterday that was just crawling with people. We are out here at 7.30 a.m., quite a ways before sunrise, honestly, to get some pictures. There's nobody out here. There's lots of people out and about. It looks like catching flights, but nobody here yet, knock on wood, taking pictures. So I'm really hoping we can get a little more sunlight and snap a picture or two and be on our way. And it is now 8 a.m. on the button and the first tour group has arrived, y'all. So if you want to get a picture with this thing, get here before sunrise because there was just enough light for it to look so muty, muty, moody and beautiful, which is muty in case you didn't know. Anyway, I'm pumped. I'm excited. I want to go back and look at the pictures we got. I really hope one of them's good. You'll know because I'll have already put it on Instagram if it was. Bye. Did y'all see that rainbow coming over the like main town hall building? Y'all got to come out here at sunrise. Like I hate early rising and I almost told Jordan no this morning. But man, that's so pretty. Wow. All right, so after exploring Rothenburg this morning, we took a little break in our wonderful Airbnb. Now we're going to head and grab a quick lunch and then we're going to spend a couple hours exploring more of Rothenburg. We're going to walk the city walls here, potentially hop in the beautiful cathedral, and then we're heading to another destination on the romantic road called Dinkel's Buell. We're going to check out their Christmas market, apparently a little Christmas village, and see what that town has to offer. Lunch was good. We went to Vito's, a little Italian place just near the market area, and it was perfectly acceptable. Got a plate of pasta for less than eight euro. I'm not complaining. Now, per Jordan's request, we are getting some Schneeballen. It is a little pastry type treat that is, I think, local to Rothenburg or the area. And from what I've read, it's kind of like a wrapped pie crust in a ball with all kinds of flavorings. Like powdered sugar, I think is the most traditional because Schneeball means snowball, and that looks like a snowball, but you can get chocolate, cinnamon, strawberry, they have so many. So we're in front of Dillers or Deers, I don't know how you say it, Dillers Schneeball, and we're gonna get a little treat. Schneeball and we got an original which I was correct the original is just powdered sugar it looks like a snowball and then we got a cinnamon sugar and a strawberry which is fun I'm a little surprised Jordan got a strawberry that's not usually one he goes for they had one that I kind of wish I'd gotten as well but like four snowballs was too many it was like an apple cinnamon that looked good also but man they had like champagne truffle nougat chocolate nuts like they had so many flavors truly I think there's something for everyone in there but I'm ready to try them let's give it a go They smell like, just like pastry dough, you know? Let's go for the original first, because I don't think I can get it out without taking the other one out. <laughs> All right. Things <laughs> bigger than Here you go. Here we have a quite large Schneeballen, a snowball pastry. 
Looks like pastry dough, maybe fried. I don't know how else you get it in this shape. And then a ton of powdered sugar or um, icing sugar, if, if that's what you want to call it. <clears throat> I'm not even sure. Ooh, do you just bite it? Yeah, I think so. Try it doesn't really break off. Okay, this is going to be something. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have it all in my face? No. No? It's good. It's like kind of a plain, it's kind of like a plain shortbread cookie or something with a bunch of powdered sugar. That's delicious. Let's try the other. Look at this. <laughs> Can you imagine giving this to a child? I think they'd be head to toe. Like a little, instead of being a snowball, they'd be a snow person. Let's try cinnamon sugar. Hold this. Thank you. All right. I'm now covered in powdered sugar, but that's okay. Now we have the cinnamon sugar. Let's see if I can break off a piece this time. Yeah, there we go. No. It's, it's good. It's not like blow your way, but it's like a nice little treat, you know? I wouldn't turn it down. I have it all over me. <laughs> I bet these are like amazing hot or with ice cream. But my verdict is they're good. They're plain. I'm interested in your strawberry. That looked mm -hmm. over the top. You want to try? Yeah. Try the uh, cinnamon sugar one real quick. It's very simple. I mean, it tastes like a pie crust, literally a pie crust, with a little bit of sugar and cinnamon. It's good. All right, I'm gonna try the uh, strawberry one. Y'all, they had so many flavors in there that I was actually quite interested in. I didn't know which one to get, and I was like, just give me the strawberry because I did not want to make a decision. But I'm excited to try it. So this one's like a covered in an ice. Check it out. Okay, I'm sure I get a piece with some of the good icing on it. That's good. It's not as dry. The icing definitely helps. A little creamy element to it. A little harder to break off because it's all like glued together. I think you just bite this one. Whoa. Mm. I read that this one's filled, but I'm not about to find out right now. All right, we're gonna snack on these just a little bit longer, and then we're gonna head to walk the city walls. All right, I had to stop and get the GoPro and get our umbrella. It started raining on us. Per usual, that's <laughs> our height. We are gonna walk, I think, to the northern edge of the city wall and see if we can't find a place to get on and walk around. See y'all there. about to Mary Poppins run out of here, you guys. Good thing the city walls are covered, so we're not gonna get rain down there. just over there and a long pathway of covered walkway. It's a great rainy day activity. I 
should say too that walking the wall is free yeah. and you can get on at several points. I should say too that walking the wall is free and there's several points around the city to get on. We found one just at the very north edge. I'm not really sure like what it was called, but honestly just look through the wall, walk along it, you'll find some stairs and get on and take a stroll. Go down. Oops. This is really nice. We've been up here for maybe 10 minutes walking the walls and there's not a lot of people. We've only crossed paths with two other people up here in a town that gets, I want to say almost 3 million visitors each year. It's very hard to find a spot where there's not a ton of people. So I highly recommend coming and walking the walls. It's a pretty house. Is that gray? Mm. Not pretty. Hi friends. Germany. You gotta get the angles. Also I should say, I'm almost six feet tall with boots on and I'm almost hitting my head on the ceiling here. So if you're 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 or taller, you're probably going to have to duck the whole time that you're walking these city walls. Be warned. fun free little something to do totally enjoyed it great views honestly and now it is time to head over to Dinkelsbühl which I believe is about a 30 40 minute drive we're not staying there just going there for the evening to see their Christmas market and whatever else we find over in that cute little German town let's go that's cute that's cute Tell me you're scared You tell me you're weak But I know you're stronger Than what you think Oh, 
over the mountain We'll climb to the next Honey, I'm with you through life and to death You tell me you're nervous You say you're afraid I wish you could see All right, we've made it to Dinkelsbühl, and this city also has a wall lining it. We're about to walk through and head to the Christmas market right now. We also just learned that, I want to say this is the smallest town we've been to yet in Germany. Yeah, I think so. It's, um, we looked at the, I think that's right. We looked at populations of Rothenburg versus Bamberg versus Dinkelsbühl, and as of the last census, which was like 10 years ago, Rothenburg and Dinkelspiel have the same population. Okay. So they might be comparable. We'll see how busy this one is. I'm hoping it's less busy. We'll see. Yeah. What a feeling. Now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true. That's why I cheer. I've been busy decking the halls. I've been kind to big and small. And now it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling. We found it. <laughs> we weren't really sure where the market was. I thought maybe it'd just be obvious, like walk to the center. And we got towards the center and I was like, I don't know where it is. And then we just noticed people going in a certain direction and we thought, all the people. And they led us right to it. Thank you, people. So let's go do it. But I've been waiting for the season that's mine. It's going to be a little bit of a uh, wet, rainy Christmas market. Oh, how I wish for the Christmas of old, where the snow would fall and the air was crisp and cold, where we heard of angels up on high. This little model train deal behind us, you can pay 50 cents or 50 cents half a euro to drive the little train. They had a little cable car and everything. Really neat. Pizza. <laughs> On the smaller side, but quite popular, I got a little present for my niece. The cutest little handmade stuffed bunny. I love it. And that's kind of a wrap on Jinkles Fuel. I think the plan is to go grab a snack, get back in the car, head back, and get some dinner. Yeah. This place is amazing, like at sunrise. You have to come do it. I'm not an early bird, but here I am. Catching several worms, yo. <coughs> you can't, you can't cut them. 